<laughs> That's my job. <laughs> What'd you say, Reese? I forgot my dice, so I'm gonna have to roll completely online. I have so many sets of dice, but none of them can help you. Dice yeah, I know. <laughs> I just like I was driving over, and then it's like I was almost at here, and I was like I forgot my dice. Oh no. Dang it. Uh, I made sure to act mine. Uh, that's what I saw going on this morning. No, I'm just no, I'm saying when I came to England, I had to bring them with me. Because I knew if oh, I yeah. forgot them at I love, home, I can't I just run and grab them. I love how you brought dice, but not tools. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's... <laughs> tools for me at home. <laughs> you didn't, didn't bring a winter jacket. Okay. Or an umbrella. Not stop <laughs> I have an umbrella now. I have an umbrella yeah. now. You do now, <laughs> yeah. Oh. In case you are listening, we are all still making fun of Cedar for everything that they do ever. So, uh, <laughs> it's the opener of most sessions nowadays. Um, yes. Well, it's, it's better than Sharice cancelling us. I'm just going to say that right now. It is. Or me, let's be honest. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I am completely innocent. <laughs> uh, oh. It's great to be back. <laughs> Hello, everybody! We missed you! Oh, but let's see. A recap of last session. So, we opened with Kittis talking to the Super Rabbit and trying to get information about being a god and seeing if the Super Rabbit could help her. And the Super Rabbit pointed out the weird hypocrisy of having a god help her, help her become a god when she's trying to become a god of balance and trying to make keep the gods in their place. Um, and also, well, technically keep gods and morals in their place. And he opened up her, up her um, there was a conception of the fact that uh, most things only have power if you give it to them. And especially true with gods. And proceeded to give her a little tattoo on her chest that has a, has different, has like little scales on them. Where she can now oh, speak two different things and weigh them against each other about any topic of her choosing. Which is great. Freaking love that. So then, she proceeded to go, um, once she finished up her conversation with the Super Rabbit, she went and proceeded to go to the school, local school in the town we were in. And she, it was in the middle of the night, and she snuck in with Philo's help. Philo went into the place, and you made it so she could see into the place and teleport right in without anyone noticing her. And so then she tried to unsuccessfully walk around pretending she was a student. Very much did not do a good job. Failed that performance. <laughs> <laughs> But, Why are you out of your bed? I'm a young god. <laughs> okay, young god, go to bed. <laughs> but in any case, though, she proceeded to um, use her dream powers to basically cause everyone to dream about her as a god. Um, as many people as she could get. And so she had them in different places, and the image they had was basically um, like gods and mortals, and then there's a, um, this shepherd staff in the middle with a little lantern on it. And the name Velta. And so she has now, and so she, we, I rolled a couple, and I think I probably convinced a couple of them to start believing in her. And like, this is of some prophecy in their dreams. <laughs> and then she got caught, and the guy was just like, hey, what are you doing out of bed thinking she's a drunk student out of bed after curfew? And she was just like, uh, I'm a young god. And she's like, yeah, okay, how drunk are you? And then proceeded to try and drag her out. Then she took <laughs> her little glass cannon that um, mitts smoke, shoves it into his face, yanks her arm out, rolls a nat, roll a nat 20, broke his fingers, and escaped. And the guy just decided to go to the emergency room. This guy was just doing his job. <laughs> she didn't want to get dragged into issues, she just wanted to spread the, her name far and wide as her, as her new godhood. <laughs> so, <laughs> um... She didn't have time for bureaucracy and getting in trouble for it. So wants to become a god, so then, doesn't have time for bureaucracy. Well, you are in for a treat. <laughs> You're literally going to become, become the god of lawyers, Sharice. To become an official god, you have to sign the official god license. Get it straight. <laughs> terms and conditions to you. But yeah, no, I just didn't want to get in trouble and feel like dealing with all that. So <laughs> she escaped. <laughs> and, and then just teleported out, startled the guards who were at the front door, um, because she just teleported right in front of them. It's like, hi. 
eyes and then walks out. And so, in meanwhile, there, um, in the past session, and we had the whole Cedar and Leah fight, and Kid is got gets back right when that fight is wrapping up, and she's just like, oh, yeah. Kid, not my problem." And then we have breakfast the next day. Gail tries to make the be friends breakfast or whatever that was. <laughs> together pancakes. Together, wa pancakes. together breakfast, and they were waffles. It was waffles. waffles. Okay. Was waffles. <laughs> Leah's like, get it right. <laughs> so I love Steven Universe. Come on, everybody. Steven Universe is amazing. Sat down, not, not having any issues with anything that's going on because she was gone the entire night. And then Leah was just like, hey, guess what? I will do a trade aid with you. Wait, what was I trading? <laughs> Your soul. Again. Oh, <laughs> a bagel. No. Two bagels. Um, I remember my end of the deal where I got to learn how to become a god and you would pull from my deck of chaotic deck. Yep. Well, no. And um, yeah, that, that, that was the trade deal. It. I, yeah. I trade you this information in exchange for a pull of the deck. Oh, there we go. And so you then, mind the you, not, for all of you who may not have been here or have no idea, the other two don't know that Kidus has these things, and neither of them had an idea, had any it idea of becoming God. Hence. No, you still don't really know because you, um, Leah just said that, uh, pull from the deck. You don't mm -hmm. know what deck she's referring yeah. to, so you still don't know. <laughs> Kid is, the only thing you now know is that Kiddus is talking about becoming a god. <laughs> so they're playing point. Uno? And so, <laughs> then, um, Peter was, um, went off and was, like, trying to get, like, hey, information, and did not succeed, because technically, the little curator, her little curator book doesn't have the information, because it wasn't actually spoken out loud on what the heck Kiddus' plan is. <laughs> and so... <laughs> and so that's not right now Kiddus' issue. Because <laughs> she was like, nope, mom's not going to know. And then scolded Leah for or, um, giving mom a hint that anything was going on. <laughs> then, um, so then we proceeded to continue down to, uh, over to be able to fight Judgment. We showed up at the Judgment fight and we're like, yeah, we can do this. Showed up and went. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, fair. I like fair. it was like that beginning, and then it was just like shit, 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 <laughs> the entire fight. The entire rest yeah. of the fight was just that. Oh um, yeah. Because the judgment showed up, and the little crow things. Well, guess what? Learn. Guess what? We learned. Apparently, those things. If you cast a spell near them, they can mimic the spell. Doesn't matter what spell it is. It could be a healing spell. It could be a damage spell. If we should um, have a fireball near them, they could probably fire off fireball. So that sucks. And then, and so then Leah was sitting and fighting the main bad while we were trying to deal with the annoying skull birds. And then, <laughs> and so then Leah died. <laughs> Promptly just died. And then we were like trying to figure out what to do. And then Leah got sucked underneath the water where we couldn't get to her. And she was just, then she really died. Not like, oh, like in the kill boxes, trying to get the boxes. No, dead, dead. Bye bye. No more Leah. And then <laughs> Leah's. <laughs> Is this so? <laughs> call me off guard. And Fay Queen was just like, "Hey, we're gonna nope that thing," and then brought Leah back as a full reincarnated person, <laughs> just popped back out, <laughs> and was like, and I was proceeding to sit and judge us in the middle of a judgment fight. And Leah's now back up and starting to try to hit everything with a whole new skill set, which is awesome. And we're trying to just not die while um Gail is in a in a bird kill box and Leah's now trying to kill the dang god. Why'd you move Ooh. my token off? Oh. You know, we've okay, yeah, right, stream. Because you're dead. Uh, Promptly yeah. dead. But not just dead, but promptly <laughs> dead. <laughs> We're it's the only way to die nowadays. Dead. <laughs> we're alive, but we're dead. <laughs> Yay, I think my favorite point of being. Did I miss anything? Uh, no. That was... 
<laughs> Did I miss anything? No. <laughs> Definitely not. No. One of these days, I'm just going to edit a super cut of all of your uh, recaps. <laughs> it's going to be two hours of just high octane recap. Like. Yeah. So exactly. if any of you guys want to get a recap on the entire campaign, just keep your eyes open for that. <laughs> keep your eyes yeah. open for when I so, learn how to edit that. Dead, dead. <laughs> bye, bye. No more Leah. <laughs> <laughs> just promptly, promptly just died. Died. <laughs> I need a shirt that says "Promptly just died." <laughs> oh, would you would you prefer that or I just howdy my last yeehaw? Which of those would you prefer? Oh gosh, I what think howdy both? last yeehaw. Ah, but why can't nice. I have both? That's a good question. <laughs> exactly. All right. So I was just watching like across the Spider Verse, and the whole thing is you can't have both. <laughs> Yes, I can. I can do both. <laughs> uh, Count the vent, Sophie. <laughs> we we leave you guys in a very precarious situation. Uh, the floor seems to be lava. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> oh, shoot, not the floor is lava. <laughs> combat combat has the ensued. Uh, there is a level plane with a vortex beneath you, and lava. that's all you can really see. Um, Leah did come back as some sort of prismatic fey knight that uh, you guys are very surprised by, but don't really have a chance to talk about it. Um, Judgment also changed forms into a softer, more humanistic form as opposed to just kind of smoke as a shade, uh, but actually has a little bit more of a human form. <clears throat> Leah, in their last-ditch effort, drives their sword directly into Judgment and seems to just be hanging there, um, waiting for their next rotation and energy to move uh, as Judgment launches off uh, a very powerful spell that hits all of you uh, and then gives you, again, um, on your next turn, an either an action, bonus action, or movement. You get to choose one of the three. Uh, as you are weighed down by your own grief uh, and the actions that you take that you may regret. <clears throat> as images flash in your mind of just painful moments that uh, you felt bad about or things that you've done. Um, <clears throat> and so as you guys are weighed down by that, we continue to move. Uh, and next on the rotation is Cedar, so you're up. Oh shoot, okay. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. I don't know what I am doing, but that's okay, because I never know. <laughs> it's like me. So as you are being weighed down by your grief, you get a bunch of flashes of images of, of burning cities and uh, running away from home and knowing your brother died and, and stealing things from people to kind of garner your own wealth and, and, and all the things you've done in life. But every few flashes, there seems to be something out of place. A very serene spiral of water that seems to be vortexing into a center and then it flashes to something else you regret and then a few moments later it flashes again uh and you're seeing leah and you and gail all fighting judgment but not where you're fighting judgment but on a again a new plane of just rapids and water and you kind of begin to piece two and two together that you are getting an image of not what you regret but it's just being spliced in <coughs> She's going to kind of think for a second and then realize, um... I'm going to fire off a... Hmm. No, I don't think I want to do that. Because I feel like the birds will see, and I don't want them to see. <laughs> the birds have uh, eyes. The birds... I should hope the birds have eyes. <laughs> Most birds do. I'd feel bad if they didn't. I'm the bird with less actual eyes of her own. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm back, I'm back. No, they actually don't have eyes. Wait, they don't? Then how are they seeing what I'm doing? With their ears. There you go. I just blew up uh, an image of what you're fighting. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't like it. <laughs> 
Can I have one as a pet? <laughs> I, I have one in my bag. I could maybe keep one as a pet. <laughs> oh no, what? Um, okay, I think... Oh, I don't know what I want to do. Um, Follow your heart. <laughs> let it let it guide you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> use the force, Luke. <laughs> it's not gonna take an action to use the mind link, will it? Uh no. Okay, well first of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of focus on the image that I kept seeing uh spliced in with the with the kind of guilt and regrets. Um that kind of image and I'm like it's a map. It's a map. It's a map. And I and I send it to the others. Um, like this part looks calm. Don't stand anywhere else, cause I think that's why y'all get are getting hurt. Here's where the ground is safe. Um, if you want to give detailed instructions, um, that probably will be a turn. Um, if you just want to be like, hey, in general. Uh, there is land that is safe and not safe. Um, try not to move too much from where you're currently standing. Um, you probably could. Without it taking an action. So how much did you what want to What if I just convey? kind of imagine the picture really hard on the mind link? Have we discerned who as characters can see images in their minds and who can't? Because not everybody can. <laughs> Really? Yeah. I feel sorry. I know for, there's I there's a, about 20% oh, yeah. of the population can't visualize images in their mind. Huh. I'm oh, sorry, yeah, I'm I have curious. heard of that. Yay, early childhood <laughs> education. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? I think I will make that my action. Okay. So, you guys over the mind link will receive. Um, a generalized version of a map. So Cedar kind of pushes and images into your minds that uh, gives you a small flash of kind of what is safe and what is not safe and kind of gives you an idea of what might be happening in the ground below your feet based off of something that seemed out of place in her mind. So you can choose whether or not to trust it. But what I'll do is I'll give you a quick flash of what she sends you. I'll give you about six seconds to look at it, and you will go from there. Sound good? So everybody looking at maps? Yep. 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 Has it popped up yet? I said it dramatically, thinking it would, and it has not, so please give me just a quick <laughs> moment to troubleshoot why my image is not generating. Instructions unclear. Character caught in whirlpool. <laughs> Dramatic reveal. <laughs> uh, one second, please. I see darkness. <laughs> what just happened? Ah, dramatic breaking oh. things. Okay, hang on. I'm just going to do it a different way. Give me 30 seconds. Oh, we are in the abyss now. So where yes. aren't we supposed to go? <laughs> yes! Zeta, <laughs> I'm staring into darkness. I'm not talking about Leah's music collection. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, we're being up inside. Yeah. yeah. That's also Philo's anthem. Okay, I'm gonna refresh yeah. maps. Why aren't you working? Okay, new headcanon. Philo, Philo loves heavy metal. Philo just mm -hmm. loves Evanescence. Um, just little guys just... <laughs> with little, little headphones, just <laughs> just rocking out in the Ooh, corner. Ooh, okay. Ooh. So this is this is the image that appears in your mind that Cedar sends you, and it kind of makes sense as to why uh, when you seem to set, step different places. <clears throat> Uh, you fall into what seems to be water uh, because there may actually be water under your feet. And what you're seeing is not actually what is physically present. <coughs> it's almost like there's a spell afoot. 
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Good to know. Um, and so that kind of gives you a general idea of what may or may not be safe uh, to step on if you choose to take some movement. Uh, I'll say your next location uh, that you want to put your feet on the ground, you will know whether or not it's safe. And then, uh, just quickly, Doku, can you tell me what the turn order is from top to bottom? Sure. So that was Cedar. Then we have Gale. Then we have Minions. Uh, then it goes to Leah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Kid is Cedar, Gale, Minions. Yeah. Leah. Okay. Kiddus. Bye-bye. Okay. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I can't be the only one that was thinking it. That, you no, are, I was thinking it too. So... Banana! <laughs> Banana! Oh, no. Banana! <laughs> That's their battle cry now. <laughs> She's yelling banana. No! I'm here for it. You know, I've never seen that movie. Wow. I've really? never seen, Which I've, one? I've seen the first Despicable Me, I've seen none of the others, and none of the Minion movies. Um... Yeah, don't. <laughs> Dang. Personally, I'm not a fan. Uh, the first one's good. Um, not a fan of the other ones, personally, but that's just me. All right. Well, speaking of not just you, it's your turn. Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> so, um, I actually have a couple of questions. Um, first and foremost, these birds, are they technically undead? Uh... It's hard to discern um, what they are just from what you've been fighting so far. They don't feel can undead. Like if you, I... you as a priest would like kind of be like, oh, I can kind of have a general idea. Um, you are confused as to how these are existing right now. If you were to come okay. back with them. Mm -hmm. Can I ask a similar question that might answer that question? Okay. Uh, are these the same creatures they were chasing us down on the airship when Judgment first emerged. No. Okay. Okay. That's right. That that narrows that down a little bit. That's cool. Because um, we know that those creatures that chased us down were aberrations. Yeah. Yeah. I thought with the skulls. I thought because I've got. Um, Destroy Undead. I thought maybe right. I'd try that, but again, it depends on the challenge rating. Um, so that could could have been a bit of a gamble either way. Mm -hmm. um, and you mentioned there seems to be water. Um, yes. It the image I... that was sent to your mind. Um, so you took flight the moment people flew uh, fell into the map. It seemed, uh, and now Cedar just sent you an image of flowing rapids in water. Um, but you can't physically see it. Can't physically see it. Okay. Um, here's the thing. I'm an idiot. Um, no. Gail might... Is there a way that Gail could potentially tell where the water is? Um, so on this like next move, lose. based off of what you were just sent by Cedar, you will have one move to two moves potentially where you would know where safe land was if you wanted to get back to the ground okay I think I'm going to try that because if I can at least get away from the birds I can then focus on um, cool clericky shit so um, I'm trying to remember where everything was if I uh, if I move I'm going to get attack I'm going to have attack of opportunity on me aren't I uh, four of them yeah yeah, you're in the kill box to end all kill boxes. I kind of am. But I'm also where Burb needs healing. And I don't... Oh! Oh, no. Because that is... Hang on a minute. As the DM gets four dice ready. <laughs> I'm just going to double-check something very, very quickly. Cards. Is that technically... I will say they're able to do quite oh, a lot of damage. Sure. They got me for, like, 50... Like fifty hit points in one go. Yeah. So do with that information what you will. No, was I that all of them at once though? Or was that just yeah, one they of them? All... <clears throat> okay, that, that was, was all of them at once. That was all of them coming at me at once. 
You know what? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a move. I must have been in a bad mood last week. <laughs> so I I'm gonna Thank change my movement and I'm gonna I'm gonna fly because I have more movement with my flying speed. I know I'm gonna try and move towards where Cedar is. Let me just get my notes on my flying speed, which is 35 feet. 60 feet. 60 feet away. Okay, right, cool. Um Okay. Cedar, where are you? Like, where, where's your token? I can't... I don't it's recognize your token. It's beneath mine. So, look, look under... Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I see you. <laughs> I could just see, like, the top part. <laughs> You're that short on my screen. Ah. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, I'm gonna move... To, I'm gonna attempt to move towards Cedar. Um, so that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. Yeah, I can make that. That's 45 feet of movement, so I'm gonna yeah. try and move over to her. Okay. Hit me, as, Daddy! As you... Harry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um... content warning when people click on this. Uh, what's your current AC again? 20... 21. 21. Uh, okay. So, two hit. Okay. <clears throat> it's just up... Oh, I just... Through that, I yeeted that dice on accident. Ooh, and plus four. How did I roll that high? Oh, that's only four. And then four, four, while four. he does that, uh, Kiddus, was I hasted? I don't remember. <coughs> you were. No, wait. You were before no, you went I, down. I was... It doesn't. It's not okay. persistent. Yeah, I, I knew it didn't persist if I went down, but I. Uh... I wasn't sure if she re-upped me. Yeah, I didn't have you marked no. with an H, so I think you're. I don't have you marked as as such. Okay. <clears throat> um. Twenty damage. Is that it? Yeah, I rolled max damage on 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 both dice technically, and I was kind of surprised by that, but only two hit. Cool. <laughs> like, is that all? Um, but yes, you are now free. Is that all? Of the, is that all, Mr. Dungeon Master? Of the goobers. Um, so that'll bring us up to. I still have my action. Uh, because of the nope. the grief spell, you only had a movement oh, action or bonus action this turn. Oh, okay. I'm guessing. Would I have that next round potentially, or do I not know just yet? You you kind of yeah. It's only for the one turn. So on your next round, you'll <clears> have full <throat> movement again. What was that? Cool. What was that? Mind whip or whatever the spell was. Yeah. Kind of like that. So your next turn, you should be fine. Yeah. Sorry. I... <laughs> no, you're absolutely I do, I, fine. I forgot about that one. All good. You weren't here last session. I forgive you for now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, so that'll bring us up to Leah. You are currently... You stabbed your sword kind of into judgment, and you are now just kind of hanging there almost off the ground uh, as she wow. uh, actually towers over you by a couple of feet. I'm going to. Uh, do you? I I really hope you remember when we talked about this, so you know what I'm doing. But I'm going to uh, kind of using my sword as leverage. I'm gonna push myself upward, grip at her throat, and channel, uh, channel prism through me to try and use my reality bending bullshit to um plane shift judgment back into the abyss with curator wait i thought it was the wait curator or not curator whatever the hell her name is i know it started with the c giant beholder lady yes madam mcscary i don't know that's not her name but that's yeah my uh, name give me 10 her. seconds boaty mm -hmm. boat face <laughs> Adam McScary with the thousand eyes. This doesn't work. Do we want to do the backup plan that we I might have done <laughs> if you did come back? I don't remember what that is. I'll text it. Okay. What did you say, Sophie? Said Cthulhu's estranged sister. <laughs> <laughs> I I can keep coming up with these. Let's see. So you're 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 going to attempt to kind of plane shift her out of um out of reality right now and just then you're gonna attempt to just 
Okay, let's see. So. I'm basically attempting to use my reality powers to mimic the spell plane shift. Mm -hmm. Um, to be able to um, plane shift judgment back to wherever that beholder is, which I think was the abyss. Okay, let's see. So essentially, put that thing back where it came from, or so help me! Yes. <laughs> you got the hype for Mike Wazowski. You know what?! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love how you're like, I Love you know really. Try I know where you live. <laughs> yes, so do I. <laughs> Know where you live. I should hope you know where you live. <laughs> I mean, I know where you live. <laughs> Brain confused. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. First, roll an Arcana for me. Okay. <laughs> oh my okay. God. Um. <laughs> Ooh, that's right, I have new modifiers. You said Arcana? Arcana. 21. Okay. And then I want you to roll a performance for me. Okay. We're looking at a 27. Okay. What is your spell modifier currently? Uh... Oh, uh, plus 6. Is that, wait, before or after proficiency? So it's whatever you would get if you were casting a spell. I'm I'm calculating like, a like a spell a, attack. Yeah, I'm calculating a save right now for charisma. Okay, that would be plus nine for charisma. But my save DC, yes, my save DC is seventeen. Okay. Dang. All right. <clears throat> Interesting. So let's see what happens. So you are <clears throat> strangling judgment with just all of your might. And it's almost like she's not present as a giant grin appears on her kind of pale face. As you begin to feel the world around you shifting and breaking as she winks and disappears. Do I know where she went? Well, you think yeah. you just plane shifted her. Mm -hmm. See, the and way you said that. for all intents and purposes, you, uh, who with such a high arcana roll, understand that plane shift was just cast. And okay. you attempted to it and you channeled, and you were like, I need to get her out of here. And okay. you kind of feel that it succeeded. Okay. The first thing, she's going to hit the ground. She's probably going to have like a, what, two, three foot drop from where she was? Yeah. Uh, so she hits the ground, and the first thing she does is she jumps to her feet, and she looks at the back of her hands for the tattoo. Oh, yeah. Oh, cause you you're you changed, right? No, cause we I we we got marked by the beholder. That basically, basically if uh, oh, if we okay. didn't That's return we judgment, then we were bound by a deal. So I'm looking to see if the deal has been held. Uh, you are still marked. Okay. Um, good. but it seems to be fading. That's maybe good. okay. <laughs> That's um, but that 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 is my turn. Oh, are the birds still there? Yes, birds are still oh, present. Okay, we still gotta kill. Still got killed these birds. <laughs> the birds. birds. Madam, um, I'm gonna need you to be more specific. Well, it's my Wait, turn. So yes, that with um. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, with the fading of judgment, would I get my bonus action of movement? Nope. No. Nope. You okay. you are. It was because you are stricken by a mental grief from the spell. So okay. the effect is All still. Right. So the effect was okay. still there. Yeah, that's fine. That's my <coughs> turn. Hey, did Kid I think I teleported right before. 
Uh, you have been slowly moving five squares at a time, so you did not teleport. Oh, yeah. I did not teleport before, mm. so... I think I'm, you have I'm one stricken. left, if I remembered right. Yeah, I have one left. Because you have three total, um, and I have you marked 2T, one not active, so you should have one back left. All right. So then I guess for my turn, Pittis is going to run along the circle, um, to, like, down to the right. Mm -hmm. uh, as like, because like by the looks of it, she can see where everything is now, so she can just she's gonna just run along it. So like um, as far as she can. Right, Darish. Yeah. And gonna use. Let's see. So you you only get an action, movement, or bonus action this turn. Well, I guess she's just gonna use up her movement to do that because, and then she's just gonna yell. No one pick me up! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, come get me! Yeah. <laughs> I can't stop my action yet! <laughs> because... Uh, because... Uh, I... Because I... I'm not one of those birds. <laughs> you what? <laughs> I'm gonna take one of these same birds. <laughs> oh my gosh. Kiddis wants a new pet. <laughs> um... <laughs> It's gone. Now there's one goal. I'm getting one of these. <laughs> I, love, I love that you want it so much. Um, that'll actually bring us to Cedar then. I'm a little far away from you to get to, to come pick you up at the moment, so we're going to not do that. Um, Wait, where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm way at the bottom of the map. <laughs> yeah. See, I found, I found the one spot that didn't hurt me, and I was like, you know what? We're staying right here. <laughs> Well, if you'd like, you could maybe hold your action, let Gail heal you, and then come pick me up. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I'll hold my action so that I can come pick up Kittis. <laughs> Are you going to hold your action and your movement? Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. I'm actually going to... How, how many... You need to stay there for Gail to heal you. Yeah, if you if you want to hold gonna, your yeah. action and movement, that's fine. I'm gonna hold my action and movement until Gail heals me. Okay. Provided that's what Gail do. Um, um so that was the intent. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, Doku. Uh, sh should I text you or text Tavern Bard? Tavern. Okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna get a new bet. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, Gail, you're up. Um, well, I, I suppose I better heal Cedar now. I'm right there. Um, <laughs> yeah, Gail's gonna um, expend a fourth level spell slot and cast Cure Wounds on Cedar, which can be 48. Well, actually, quick, quick, um, before you do that, Harry, are we mm -hmm. using 5e rules or 6e rules? Um, I haven't got 6e, so I'm yeah. just on 5e. Well, right, but, but, but just Doku. Five. Okay. We're staying with five for Fine. now. Okay, continue. Because I was going to cool. say the 60 healing spells got a mega buff. Yeah, I have not uh, had the chance, unfortunately, to to update, so we're going to You're good. remain on yeah. I haven't even looked at 60 at all, to be honest with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been too busy! Um... Same. <laughs> Come on, new dice, why aren't you? Uh, nice. Doku, did you see my message? Yeah. Oh, wow. 26 points of healing for you, so you got 26. Sweet, thank you. You are very, very welcome. Uh, that's also six points of healing for me because Divine Healer, um, which I absolutely fucking love as a cleric. Uh, so... And I'm guessing I don't have bonus action at all, movement. Is that still. Not yet. Not yet. Or, well, actually, wait, no, we're back top of the round. No, we're not. So... Oh, okay. So you, you asked me for the. So the the round went Leah, Kittis, Judgment, Cedar, Gale, Minions. And when you asked, you were like, what's the rotation? And that was Judgment had just went. So Cedar, Gale, Minions, Leah, Kittis. Well, no, I was asking for top of the round to bottom of the round. Gotcha. Okay, so that was Leah, Kittis, Judgment, Cedar, Gale, Minions. Okay. So top of the round is Leah after Minions. Leah, Kittis, Judgment. judgment. Mm-hmm. Cedar. And then, wait, Gale do minions, minions go first or b before or after Leah? 
They go before. So they, they are at the bottom okay. of the round before Leah at the top of the round. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Alright. Continue. Um. <clears throat> okay. So you held. Uh, you got your healing from Gale. Um, so you can... You can yeah. do your thing. I can go about 30, I think. So I'm going to start coming hey. over to you. I have, um, does she still have grief on her? Yes. For okay, this turn. So, then, yeah. so you guys are all clear of it now at this point. Mental issues. Okay. Um, um, so, mm -hmm. And from here, I'm going to... I'm gonna throw a psychic dagger because that's not technically a spell; it's just an ability you, I have. You use movement, so you have movement. Oh, right, I use movement. That's, yeah. So this is sorry, just the final turn for it. I'm okay. Used to this. My bad. Oh uh, no, you my guys bad. do it to me all the time. I do it back to you guys once, and y'all forget. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, it was all right because that's how we ended last session. So that's all. So I'm just gonna. You know what? I'm I'm gonna stand there. That's the end of my turn. I'm done. All right. <laughs> Minions are up. And, so uh, I'll get my sorry. I just want to check. I'll get my bonus action next round. I'm guessing. Next round, yeah. Cool. That's all right. I want to see what check. So like, right, what's going on? Um, but that's cool. So what you guys notice is that as you began to move, once judgment faded away, um, after something that Leah had potentially done, almost world breaking, uh, as Channel kind of threw herself, her fey abilities and her kind of uh, stone, um, I guess, uh, tattoos or images that are carved into her body have just kind of illuminated in this prismatic color. Um, she kind of falls to the ground. <clears throat> and the birds that you guys have been fighting, the skull birds, actually also begin to kind of take a different shape. As the world around you, the illusion fades because judgment was no longer here to maintain the illusion and even what you are fighting the birds actually change as well and you see their true form mm -hmm. let's see that true form <coughs> whoa oh. ah. shadowy ew. vestiges ew this worse uh, got shadowy xenomorphs I don't like him. I don't like him. Three begin to cool. engage. Um, they all come directly at you. Uh, Cedar, yeah. Gale, and Leah. And they will do things. What will they do? <laughs> I like places and things. All right. How many spell slots do you guys each have left? Oh, um, no. Don't do this. Don't make me do that. One Four first two, level. Two first level and three second. Uh, six total. Okay. specifics? I will need an intelligence saving throw from you three. Okay. <laughs> both, because of range, both of you get my buff. Nice. Which is plus five? Uh, yeah, plus six now, actually. Oh! Hey. Rain, Hit I could kiss you. Four. Natural fucking 20. Oh, nice. yes! Come on, first dice roll in a new country. Let's go. That was a flipping one! <laughs> You're kidding! <laughs> no! Oh, uh, what is that? I was right, wait, it is England. Wait, hear me out. It is England. Hear me out. Hear me out. No, when... it's not England. It's not England because I got an at 20 as well. <laughs> ah. Okay, when you add my, my save stuff, that's like 15, though. Oh, uh, yeah, because yeah. Cedar is super smart. I got 24. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. So Gail and I both have a 26. So it's not just England. <laughs> Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so <coughs> Cedar, uh, your natural one. I, yes. <clears throat> it nets you a loss of your highest and lowest spell slot, one of each. Well, okay. see, all my spell slots right now are at one, so. So you lose, lose two... two level one spell slots. Yeah. Okay. 
that's actually not as as terrible as I thought that was gonna end. So I'm 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 okay with this. <laughs> Kittis, you are unaffected because they are not near you, uh, and you guys with your natural twenties, um, you feel a drain uh, just from this presence. Think of it kind of like a Death Eater from Harry Potter as it begins trying to suck the energy from you and you think of happy thoughts. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, you guys kind of naturally, uh, with your understanding of magic, like fight it off and you're like, no, that's mine. <clears throat> but Cedar... Um, Not before marriage. Your, your two <laughs> spell slots that you um, lost, C, go to a... Um, the one in the back that did not move. And it's also the only one that didn't begin to show its true form <clears throat> as it itself explodes. And in this plume of feathers and just this tornado cloud of just black vestiges of mouths opening and swallowing the exact air behind you, who plane shifts back? What? You. But judgment. No! Doku, no! Why water. would you do that? You okay. use plane shift. They can mimic spells. It's their whole yeah, mechanic. I didn't use plane shift. Wait, wait, wait. They didn't use plane shift. I understand that, but they can mimic whatever they see. Okay. So they... they... Oh, no. <laughs> They copy it. It's fine. We just cast plane shift like three more times. It's okay. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's how we get rid of the minions. <laughs> so it sacrificed itself and stole energy to do it. But yes, they they are just. <clears throat> when you figure out what they are, it'll make a little bit more sense. But you don't know what they I are want or how one. it happened. Don't get rid of all of them. <laughs> do not get rid of all of them. I want one. <laughs> so. Uh, that'll bring us to top round, and Leah, you're up. Okay. Leah's gonna see this, and I'm gonna, so I'm gonna change up Leah's character description just a little bit, and I'm gonna say that, um, when she, uh, thank god nothing that will require new art, um, <laughs> uh, as she had rose from the center of the, um, from the center of the whirlpool as this brand new form she will have grabbed the death knight's helmet from her backpack and just gripped it in her hand as she rose up and it will have just shifted into like a a chromatic prismatic helmet so it looks like broken crystal basically but it's constantly shifting color and when her tattoos landed on pink so did the helmet and I'll say she put it on her head. But so in this, and I, I preface this because in this moment, she goes and she grabs a tiny little prismatic pink uh, crystal orb from the center of her helmet, like right, like right at her forehead. And she just plucks it out. And she goes and she tosses it up in the air quick and then hucks it right about, I'm just going to use this as an example right about there so it encompasses all four enemies without touching any of us as it has a 20 foot radius i know what you're about to do and i love it and let oh, me i want one oh oh wait no as in wait okay can i get four dexterity saving throws doku Oh dang! All of them saved. Judgment did not save, but the birds did. What did they get? <clears throat> um, twenty-three, twenty-two, another twenty-three, and uh, sixteen. Okay, love that. Um, and then it's, uh, it's a shit ton of d sixes. Let's see. So. <laughs> So like the phrase shits on a d6 it just made me happy. Yeah. He likes the dice. 
don't remember it being that many. It was what, eight? Or six? No. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's 44 poison damage. Oh, it was 10. That's 44 poison and 32 fire for judgment. What? And that is 22 poison and 16 fire for the other three. All right, hold on. 10 d6. Of each. Of two different damage types. So you're rolling... So you're doing five and five? No. It's, uh, if you look mm -hmm. at the at the initial ability, Hellfire Orb, it's 10d6 fire and 10d6 necrotic. Or sorry, so all that fire damage is psychic damage for me, right? So that's 44 poison, 32 psychic. Uh, okay, um, okay, I see what you're saying. Okay. I did more damage. Man, I pulled my punches on you guys, because I only did half that when I did that to you guys. But oh, that's fun. <laughs> you didn't break your minions. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so one more time. So I got judgments then. How much did the minions take? 22. Tw 22 poison, 16 psychic. Okay, so two drop then. Okay. Oh. Nice. There's two left. Um, yep. No, there's one well, left. Well, there's one, one left. Itself. Yeah. Dang it. I don't kill the last one. I'm <laughs> putting the same thing in my bag. Hey, if it hits me, I'm hitting back. <laughs> All right. Um, this is the and same then... rule as, mm -hmm. as, as a haunted house. You don't touch me, I don't touch you. Okay. One if second. It... Let me... Punches me, I'm punching the, I'm punching the bird. <laughs> But you like birds. Not these birds. <laughs> I'm gonna bonus action stones throw at judgment. Okay. <laughs> Need a strength save, right? Uh, does a... Well, I'm, I'm sure it Just does. A vibe. 22 hit. <laughs> uh, 22 meets, yeah. Okay. Um, then yes, I need a strength save, 17. Yeah, uh, I saved There's a giant uh, 18. Flipping rock. Okay. But you still take eight points of force damage. Okay. Uh, that is my turn. All right. Actually, actually, one more thing I'm gonna do. Um. Wow. So I would know that the area judgment's in is not safe territory. That is correct. Judgment is okay, able. Then she's standing right on the water. Um. Okay. But it is. You would know that. Just being dunked in the water previously, that it is in fact raging rapids. Okay. Um. Then that is my turn. Okay. Uh, Kittis, you're up. Mm -hmm. Um. So the the bird thing's on the ground, right? Well, not on the ground, but like it's like. No, it is flying next to it's... cedar. So they're about. I think well, we said 15, cedar. 20 feet off the ground. Wait, you are. Yeah, so yeah. Cedar's flying. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I've been hovering the entire time. Yeah. I'm 50 off the ground. One, two, three. So, would I be able to make it if I if she just jumped out and then teleported on top of it? Oh, thank goodness you put it on top of the bird. I thought you were going to just, like, flying tackle on top of Cedar. So you want to? No, I'm going to fly inside on Sith Judgment then. You want to jump like a... and try to grab the flying creature that's next to Cedar. No, no, no. What she's doing is basically pulling her bag open, jumping, and just going boom. Right oh on top. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's like a big 
like a cartoon character. Cannot He's even begin to <coughs> list how bad of an idea that is. We're at the cartoon character this. <laughs> this is a bad idea. I love it. I love the dang thing. You didn't come pick me up. I'm on my way. <laughs> I mean, I will never say no usually, so uh, yeah, that's exactly what you do. Um, you you <laughs> running jump and try to to you tell so you run jump teleport with your your bag of holding essentially open, and you attempt to swallow the creature into the bag. Yes. Okay. Roll, I guess a. Dexterity check. Roll, roll. No, uh, acrobatics. Go ahead and roll acrobatics for me. Come on, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, the DM can't decide how he's going to kill your character, so you know it's bad. Well, considering it's over uh, a jagged, rocky area. <laughs> It's fine. And, and difficult terrain. She's a god. Yeah, it's just not yet. <laughs> Fifteen. New god. How much? Fifteen. Fifteen. It's a pretty decent roll. Um, so you you running leap with all your might, and then you teleport and appear right on top of the visage as you just woof, try to swoop it into your bag, and you realize that. In its true form, it doesn't have a physical body, really. It's just a cloud of smoke with essentially what looks like a mouth and eyes as the bag kind of floats right through it. And you capture maybe a small essence or puff of smoke that is a piece of it, but you fall directly through. But thankfully, with a 15, you land perfectly legs spread between two jagged rocks and you have to kind of catch your balance as you almost fall into the raging river that is right below you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Damn. <laughs> All right. So I caught part of That means I can gr maybe grow it. <laughs> I have that a chance. Not... <laughs> that's what you took from that? That's that's yes! what... All right, let's see. Oh my gosh. So we've done all <laughs> of my By the way. actions. Legendary. Um, What's up? Did it take damage since I kind of just took a portion of it and just no. it off? No. You, you got what equated Aww. to about like a fart's worth of just methane body of a, oh, of a ghostly character. There'll, there'll be a strange misty cloud on the entrance of your of your clean white castle, but it's just like a little poof of of candle smoke that is now just kind of existing in your bag of holding. So if you need it to be, that is what it is. You have a small cloud of candle smoke inside of your bag. I will find a way to grow it into this thing. Okay. I will find a way to do this. <laughs> and is, would that be your turn then? Because you use technically your movement, your action. I think you would have a bonus action potentially because you caught yourself. I, 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 no, I, I, no, I use my teleport for my bonus action. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there we <laughs> go. <was> um... <laughs> so let's ruin days. Um, bu 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 bu. That's a little rusty. It's all good. You've got this. Alright, I need a wisdom saving throw. 
from Leah and Cedar. Okay. Um, all right. Twenty five. Sorry, give me just a sec. Uh, wisdom, and I do I have the the um, you do buff? you're within range. Me. That's beautiful. Please, please. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that is gonna be 27. Okay. Wisdom. <laughs> we can yeah. tell you're living in the UK, the amount of please and thank yous just then. <laughs> oh no, that was all southern. Yeah. Please, guys. Please, please save me, southern dice. Now nah, that was southern US. Mm. Of course, y'all just manage your P's and Q's. So you guys <laughs> begin to get a little confused. Um. <clears throat> And you kind of see the, the rapids begin to kind of settle as to calm water and the, the ground beneath your feet, instead of hard packed dirt rock, it just becomes this cloudy cloud of, of soft marshmallow land. Uh, and you realize that, you both realize at the same moment that this is not something that's actually happening and kind of shake out of it. And you're right back to where you were. Uh, but in that moment, <clears throat> you see, um, judgment flying straight towards Gale as for the first time she actually takes her physical hand and just gashes Gale across his chest with okay I beg your unbelievable pardon <laughs> that that hits with a 25 is it just one attack or does she have multiple attacks? uh it's just one attack she's not extremely physical um it hits I'm with going a to 25, be I'm, though. what's up I'm gonna bend reality The other thing I can do, I can reality shift to make it hit. I can reality bend to make it miss. Oh, as your reaction? Yeah. Do you have it? Hold on. I do. You're pulling out all the stops then. Nobody touched Gale, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh yeah, because exactly. you just used your orb, right? That was your only action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So you still have your reaction. You um, could say rain killed two birds with one stone. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so then she she will miss uh, and let out a harrowing scream at the top of her lungs in frustration, um, and that will bring us to Leah. Okay. Wait. Or wait, Cedar. Sorry, Cedar. Yeah. Oh, hello. Um. This, this may not work, but I've actually this is actually a good opportunity to, to use this. Wait, I never get to use this one. Um, I want to use my uh, my dagger of Azure Fury, um, and I'm gonna use the skydive strike. Um, but without the jump part, just the attack part. <laughs> I'm just gonna like ram really hard into the bird, the smoke cloud bird, whatever. Um, okay. In direction. When you arrive at your location, you can choose to make a melee attack against the target as part of this action. Make an attack roll with a negative five penalty, but on a successful hit, deal an additional sixty-four lightning damage. This can be used two times per long rest. Um, I don't do a lot of melee attacks, so I almost never get to use this. So I'll only have okay. I'll only have a plus two on this. So it works. Please, please, please. You little. It's a one. <laughs> do I have my bonus action? You do, yes. Okay. So if you call it anything, uh, that was funny. So since since that didn't work with my with my uh, bonus action, I'm just gonna uh, do the psychic dagger thing, and just you know when I see that that one miss, I'm gonna come around with the other hand and just kind of like slash it with the dagger. Okay. Um. Okay, that's better. Um. Sorry, a door just shut, and I didn't have any open. Um, ghosts. Uh, that's gonna be a twenty-five to hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'll hit. Right, it's not much, but it's still five hit points. Oh, helps. Yeah. Uh, so... and what you see is as you slash through it. 
uh, and you kind of attack what you feel would be a physical form uh, of this, this ghost cloud just disperses kind of around your arm and looks like it's about to kind of come at your face with its mouth open and it just dissipates through you uh, and becomes nothing. I'm scared. <laughs> I thought you were American. <laughs> uh. I thought you were American. <laughs> um. uh, that's my turn because, uh, yeah, that's my turn because I want to stay in range of, of Leah, <laughs> Leah and Gale. Um, right. uh, and so I'm going to hope that means that the, that the bird's gone. Right. I don't. I don't trust anything. Gail, anymore. you're up. <laughs> I don't trust reality. I'm up. You are up. Okay. Um, really quick, Rain. Um, yeah. I want to double check damage before I suggest anything because I am learning. I'm not a computer. Yeah. I'm learning this shit. Um, obviously, last round you did fire and psychic. So no. Uh, po work. Poison and psychic. Poison and psychic. My mistake. Um, do we know if necrotic damage does anything? Uh, do we? Uh, you don't know specifically, no. Okay. It, it, the last thing I want to do you've is hit use necrotic with... and heal judgment. Yeah, I think you've he I think you've done necrotic to her, and it seemed to have potentially yes, I done have. normal damage. Okay. Yeah, so, so I would know, because I have been doing flat five necrotic damage every single hit. Or now six. Um, okay, so, so yes, necrotic damage. It works fine. Perfect! Because she's within touching distance of Gale. I didn't mean it to sound weird. Um, <laughs> he's going to sort of look at her and just go, my turn. Sort of touch his hand to her face and cast Inflict Wound at third level. Nice. Which, with my plus eight, comes to 26. Okay, yeah, that'll hit. Nice. So that is going to be, because it's third level, that is 5d10s worth of damage. Three, four. I didn't actually have five six dice out for a change. That's. Okay, okay, okay. I'm seeing 15, 19, 25. 31 points of necrotic damage. Okay. Pretty clean. Nice. And I get my bonus action this turn. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad you said that. Because I love my bonus action. Um I just want to double check something really quickly, so I should check this beforehand. Ooh, I can do that. Yes, okay, I'm gonna do that then. Um so yeah, he would he withdraws his hand, clasps his holy symbol, and casts spiritual weapon right next to himself for his bonus action. You can't. You are oh, a spell. Oh fuck, I didn't I. Sorry, Sorry the my... gamer language. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't I didn't say the gamer's word, so <laughs> said F. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm British, that's how we say hello. <laughs> I took yeah. off the mature flag um, one time. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'm guessing I can't do... We just need we need to put you on... You could like, do magic board. stone, but it would be a that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. Um, yeah. It's still a plus eight to hit, so it's, it's worth yeah. trying. It would be a disadvantage uh, to fail. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll and we do know the magic number is 22. Yep, yeah, it's, it's a plus eight to hit. Yeah, so you need a 14 or higher. Yeah. Doka, we need to put Captain America's language on the soundboard. Right. <laughs> so, with with this advantage, I would 15 plus 8. Hell yeah. 23. Uh, I mean, that's a d6 plus 4, but it's still, still a bit of damage. Uh, for 8 points of bludgeoning damage. Hell yeah. Okay. I think that's the highest amount of damage Gale has done so far in the campaign. <laughs> No, you've done really well with some guiding bolts. <coughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. And a lot but, I mean, with um, uh, spirit. Unlike Guardians. Shadowheart. 
I'm like, shut up. Look, you she, I, I love her, but she can't hit the broad side of a barn. She can't swim either. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, I know this. All right. That's my turn. So the water around you goes calm. And all sound begins oh. to stop. Mm. As the physical form of judgment changes again. To a, a young woman in a pale pink dress. Skin is alabaster, almost reflective. And she looks up at you and then looks at Leah and Cedar and Kittis as blood begins to pour out of her eyes and her mouth and small pieces of her flesh begin to tear and bleed. And you just hear in a soft voice a whisper that almost echoes through the silence. Children playing around in the worlds of gods with no understanding of consequences. There had to be an anchor As she falls back to the ground, dead. And before you can I'm actually... even breathe, mm -hmm. a hole in the ground opens up beneath her. And you see beholder tendrils wrap around the corpse and begin to pull her into the ground. Can I do one thing retroactively, like for this RP moment? What are you thinking? As she's fading away, because of the damage type that I've rolled, which is psychic, my alignment is also currently chaotic neutral. Um, so she's gonna slowly walk up to judgment as she's fading away and like crumbling, and she's just, she's gonna cup her face with her left hand and go. Well, if we're gonna if we're gonna talk about gods, don't worry. I'm not. I'm not some mortal trying to play with gods. I'm the one thing that's better than the gods. You you hear a small chuckle, but not from her. But from the abyss below, that's pulling her in. And she's just, she's going to respond to that, to that, and she's going to go, Look, I held up my end of the bargain. Get rid of this shit. I don't like having shit on my hands. Uh, and you notice for the first time the actual markings. Um, the, basically, uh, abyss marking, the rune that represents it, um, begins to fade from your hand entirely. Okay. The earth around you actually begins to shape uh, and bend and actually begins to level out into a more normal plane as this reality that Judgment kind of created uh, fades to black and then as the color begins to return, um, <clears throat> it pulls kind of an image almost from Leah's mind. Uh, that I'm trying to get copied into maps, and it really hates me today. <laughs> so give me 30 seconds. You're good? No problem. As the yeah, thing no fades, um, Kiss tries to basically um, lock in the realm into her memory, like what it looks like, what it feels like, as it fades away. And just basically commit it to memory. You, you can do that. You kind of remember the rapids as they were. You spent some time in them, so it doesn't feel out of place. Cedar's going to kind of watch as the, um, as the mark from the abyss kind of fades away. She's just going to... Okay. One less thing to worry about. Hey. 
We survived. Oh, we did. Oh my gosh. Hey. Let's... Let's try and get out of here. Yeah. Well, um... until you have that, kiddos. Second, after you have that, we'll get out of here. What do you say? I don't want to leave yet. <laughs> so, it doesn't look like I have much of a choice. <laughs> what you see kind of form around you, and I apologize, I don't have an actual map map for this, is a desert landscape that has Whoa. Um, formed the wheel of cosmetology as you guys have kind of come to know it um, you've seen bits and pieces but you've never seen it so clear um, that those who can kind of fly could actually fly up and see it and just imagine a giant desert landscape and carved into the rock of the mountains in each direction are runes that you've kind of come to kind of know. Um, you definitely recognize the one near where Judgment fell as the abyss. Wow. And it looks a lot like the same type of desert that this mountain was, uh, or this mountain range was, only without the giant stone pillar uh, kind of connecting the two worlds. Instead, <clears throat> you just see a very ornate <clears throat> and beautifully carved stone throne. And it only resonates in your mind um, from what you heard that said there must be an anchor. And you realize the throne is sitting on the mortal realm between a representation in the in the ground of the Feywild and the Shadowfell. How far away is the throne from Leah specifically? Um, you guys are you guys kind of since it's the only thing around, I'll say that as you guys have kind of explored, um, you can neatly have walked towards just kind of exploring it. Okay. I'm going to say that without even thinking twice, you just all three of you are going to watch as Leah just takes in one swift motion, just bounds towards the chair and just, just lift around the air, landing ass first into the throne. What are you doing? As Leah sits, I'm doing what my people have done forever, and I'm becoming the anchor. As Leah sits, a pulse, almost like the shockwave of a bomb, blows through the entire realm, and you notice the mountains begin to kind of almost curve uh, near the edge around. And the black tendrils that you saw outside trying to get into the barrier before still seem to be ever present. Uh, they haven't gone away, <clears throat> but there seems to be this natural mountain range that's kind of in the celestial charter now. Uh, as Leah sits, you see a red thread on your left hand and a red thread on your right hand as they slowly begin to pull outward. Mm -hmm. One up and one down. <clears throat> hey, uh, wait, we, we can figure something out? Yeah, we can. And we have. You all just watch as the threads finally pull Leah's arms taut as it begins to slowly pull. Leah, you feel a pain like you have never felt before, like your very essence is just being ripped apart. You fall down to one HP, and you're okay. about to lose consciousness when everything kind of pauses, 
everything freezes except for you and the pain. Mid-breath, Gale, Cedar, and Kittis are frozen. <coughs> and a figure appears in front of you. Okay. <sighs> yes, yes, another change, another change. Jeez, 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 jeez. And what is your name? And he begins to write down on a scroll. Leavaris Oak Shadow. Leavaris Oak Shadow. And you understand your commitment? No, but let's do it anyways. Okay. <clears throat> well, you give me ten seconds, because I'm being hailed for some reason. Okay. <laughs> Is this guy just being hailed off by someone? <laughs> <laughs> So what? I'm inducting I'm, someone I'm here! Say, <laughs> while Doku does this, oh, so um, the last thing that Leah does before this figure shows up is as she's being, like, basically ripped into two, in two different directions, she's just gonna look at Gale, and her mouth doesn't move, but he still hears over the link. Just, like, her cries of pain, but she's, like, grinning through it, and she just goes... It's not as bad as when Hodge stabbed me way back when. You remember that, right? And and that's it. And she's just she's like the entire time all of this is happening, she's locking eyes with Gale and just smiling. Mm -hmm. Like in everything's gonna be okay kind of smile. Nice. Thank book. Let's uh let's take a quick uh fiver um just mm. as a quick okay. breather and then we'll actually uh play this next portion out, okay? Okay. Yeah. Uh, good. I need a cup of tea. Uh, <laughs> Be back soon, guys. Be back soon, <laughs> See you guys. In a minute. <laughs>
near him. <laughs> he probably doesn't remember at this exact second. Okay. It's going to be a little weird. Hello. I Hello. have to relocate. <laughs> um, so my wife is hosting rehearsals, um, but they weren't supposed to be here until one. Uh, apparently they got confused and are coming over at 11, which is right now. Um, so uh, there's going to be music going off in my house, <laughs> which is not conducive to good gameplay. Uh, so I need five minutes to shut down and end stream and move my computer to my room and be right back. Um, I I'll will say basement with you. that don't we blame... Can let... no. What's up? Yeah. Um, I, I went back to live, so everyone should know. Um, Got to go to work, okay. so... Um, so yes, everyone who is watching, if there is anybody, I'm not sure, is aware. And so you guys are aware. It'll just be five minutes. And also, don't blame Leah. They don't even know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no worries. Clue. We're stunned. I didn't realize we were still streaming. I'm just glad that you sat in the chair because I'm like, heck yeah, <laughs> fell for the plot. No, um, but <laughs> all good. I figured I could entice you with the chair and you'd go for it. So, um, we so will... Rain's having a fourth character now is what we're saying. No, well, I mean, yeah. I guess that's up to Rain, but no, 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 no. Uh, I've already thought all the way through it, so way. we are good. Um, but okay, I will so be, I will be right back. Uh, in just yeah, a few no minutes. worries. Sorry for the for the mid game session, but at least this means I can go maybe to like one fifteen if we're free then. So should be good. But anyway, I'll be I'll be right right back. Talk amongst yourselves. All awesome. right. Hi, See y'all in, in in a few minutes. See you in a few minutes.